because it's the best thing I've done in 50 years on this earth so far. I was at work one day and the Mail Tribune was sitting on a desk. I picked it up. The front page was roller derby and there were all these women dressed up in these wild outfits like on the skating floor beating each other up and I said, oh my god, I gotta do that. For me, being involved in roller skating my whole life, it's fun to watch people come back into roller skating. It's controlled aggression, it's fun, and it's a great way to meet a lot of really amazing, strong, talented, creative women. They said, can you skate? I said, yeah, I haven't skated in forever, but I'll come down. And I came down and they had me skate on rental skates and they said, okay, you're on the purple team. My name's Kim and my roller derby name is Piranha. Okay. I'm Coach Payne. I'm the coach of the Southern Oregon Derby. I have people who have never been involved in sports that come in and goes, oh, I've never played sports in my life, but this looks like so much fun and they like to try it. My real name is Amaruk Weiss. I'm known as Howl on Wheels when I'm in the rink. The female camaraderie is unlike anything I've ever experienced in a team sport. My name is Melissa, AKA Demelissa, an assistant coach to Coach Payne. I've made some awesome friends, people that you would probably never be friends with outside of this. You know, I would probably never have met any of these girls had it not been for roller derby. You don't have to have a mindset for this that says that I'm rough or tough. I've never done contact sports before. That's not stopping me. It shouldn't stop anybody. We have over 40 members now, and we have diverse, such diversity. We have very strong opinionated players. We have players who never say a word. We have parents, we have mothers, we have grandparents involved. There's all this pre-bout excitement that builds up. There's kind of this nervous energy and you're getting ready to go. And part of the fun of roller derby too is being able to just deck yourself out really decadently and really racy. My name is Morally Bankrupt and at this point I am a blocker. You got 10 women on the track. Uh, five for each team. There is one jammer for each team. That's the person who's the only person on the team that can score points. I like to jam because it's the fast position where you're racing around the track. The jammers have a star on her helmet and then four blockers, one of whom is a pivot. The pivot controls the pack speed for their team. And the pivot has a helmet cover on with a stripe down the middle. We also have a power blocker. That's our third player on the team. I'm a great blocker. I like to knock people out. A whistle blows, sends the pack going. A second whistle blows, the jammers go through. When the first jam is called and you're out there on the floor, there is this electric anticipation. The intention is to lap the pack at least once and then lap the pack again to score points every time you pass an opposing skater. So each team is trying not only to protect their jammer, but to prevent the opposite jammer from going through. This is real. We're actually, the girls don't, you don't see as many theatrics of people getting thrown over the, into the crowd, but they do run into the crowd and fly into the seats sometimes. You can't think about anything else. Everything else is gone, because if you're thinking about anything else, you'll be on your ass so fast. Being able to knock the crap out of people, <laughs> which is probably not the best thing to say, not really encouraging. You get all padded up. You have a helmet on, a mouth guard on, you know. Every once in a while, they'll trip and fight and play a little bit, but most of the time, it's really hard, and they're working their hardest. It's just fun. It's just fun to be able to think on your feet, fast on your feet. I love the improvement. I love coming to practice and seeing you can finally do a crossover or you know you finally had the courage to hit and fall down and you weren't scared. I love that. Learn the strategies if there are any other than skate fast, turn left and hit hard. My husband says I lost a wife and gained a teenage daughter. You gotta come out and try this because you're gonna have the best time of your life. Everybody can do roller derby and everybody should try it. You can do it. Come on down. You can do it.